Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, uh, my name is Bailey, but you can call me B. I realized that in my last two videos, I never even introduced myself, so I thought I would take this opportunity to do that. You can call me B. Um, I'm currently 24 years old. I don't know, I'm from Pennsylvania, currently living in Kentucky. I'm married, I talked about my husband in my last video. Um, I am, let's see, I'm a full-time housewife, I guess part-time illustrator. Um, A gardener wannabe, obviously. And I mentioned the illustration. Um, I'm kind of an artist. <laughs> that still feels weird to say, but I am. Like, I'm published. Um, I've worked on a few children's books, and I'm currently working on a third one. There three. A third one for the same author that I worked with for the past two books. Um, and they are children's books. They all are aimed to help children deal with different kinds of grief. Like, the first one deals with the loss of a sibling, the second one deals with the loss of a parent, and the one I'm working on now is dealing with the loss of a pet. So it's kind of heavy stuff. Um, but I am happy to be working on it. Not only am I working on, like, an actual physical book, which is really cool, um, I'm hoping it'll also help kids that need it. Um, I will link it in the description below. I don't make any money off of the sales, though, so just full transparency, they're not paying me to promote it or anything. I'm just promoting it because I worked on it and I'm thrilled about it. So some other things about me. Um, I'm a Christian and I am trying to work on living more sustainably, a little bit more like eco-friendly while at the same time like Still trying to figure out how to be a housewife. I've not been doing this for that long. Um, and I still have a lot to learn. And I feel like... I don't know. It's been a journey. And I'm also just trying to learn how to live... A little bit more like... I don't know. Frugally, I guess. Um, and I think it'll just be really fun to... Document my process of learning how to do all that stuff. Um, part of the reason I wanted to start a garden, in fact, was to, well, there's a million reasons, but if you can grow your own food, that helps save you money, it's healthier for you, and it's better for the environment because that food is not having to travel overseas or over how many hundreds of miles to get to your table. Because the more food has to travel, the less sustainable that is. Um, so that's a big reason why I started doing all of this. Which I'm struggling with. You can see right there. My beans are struggling again. And I don't really know why. I'm going to have to look into that. But <laughs> anyway. Um, so I want to make content about that too. I mean... It's not going to be just gardening, it's also going to be trying to figure out how to live a little bit more plastic free, a little bit healthier, and all that kind of stuff. And maybe a little bit about the art. Um, I'm thinking about doing art live streams sometimes. I don't know. Live streaming art is something that I've done before. And I've enjoyed it. But for a while I feel like I kind of wanted to move past that, not past it, but 
I wanted to stop for a while because I felt like it wasn't helping me mentally because streaming is difficult. But it might be something that I dabble with every now and then. So we'll see. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I guess that was enough. I don't really want this video to be very long. But I will give you a quick update on the garden. Not much has happened since the last video, but things are looking pretty. And, oh, well, actually, speaking of, like, sustainable stuff, I do have something to show you. <laughs> something that's sustainable and garden-related. So, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you that. Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you how pretty, like, Look at that. My sage is going to seed, which is fine. I'm letting it. It was kind of struggling anyway, so I'm going to let it go out of its misery. But look how pretty these flowers are. That is so pretty. I just love how bright purple they are. But anyway. Oh, yeah. And um, actually, <laughs> oh, and that's growing a little bit more. This is a tiny tree. Like, I just found one of these seeds and stuck it in here, and it's growing. I got a little baby tree in here, and I think that's so cool. And my chamomile is doing all right. Ooh. That's not what I wanted to show you. So I mentioned the sustainability thing, the less plastic, and the whole gardening thing. And one thing that I was struggling with was um like how do I label stuff when I put it in the ground without plastics because a lot of plant tag things whatever you call them a lot of them are plastic and I know you can also like use like popsicle sticks and stuff but I just honestly didn't feel like going out and buying those but one thing I thought of like these old fence posts that I've got here, they are falling apart, right? And one day I was just kind of picking at them a little bit because I'm weird. And I noticed that I can stick those in the ground. And so I took a pencil and just did that. And so those are my labels. This is not super exciting, I know, but I'm excited about it because I've thrown so many things in the ground already without labeling them. But yeah, now I'm excited because I can actually label what I've got in, ow, what I've got in here. But I have to be careful because it is just a bit of wood. But yeah, here I've got Tulsi basil, which I'm excited about also known as holy basil so excited about that one i've got a few more just like kitchen herbs thrown in over there and yeah so that's where the garden is at right now and i'll explain more about the cardboard and stuff later but i don't know i didn't want this video to be that so <laughs> hi i'm back again um uh, in my last video, I kind of maybe made my husband sound a bit like a bad guy. Um, and I wanted to come back here and clarify, I am very grateful for my husband. He's the reason why I've got, oh, hold on, he's the reason why I've got that going on, because if that was up to me it would be a mess i mean you've seen the way that i've handled just laying out the garden beds i am not a very nice neat person i'm very much like just i just throw things together and hope for the best so i'm very very grateful for my husband and the help that he has put into the garden and um I was complaining a lot in the last video just because, I don't know, I guess there was kind of a lack of communication about 
everything that would have to happen for the garden, for the fence at least, to be put up. And if we just, I don't know, if we had just maybe spoken about it a little bit more, there wouldn't have to be, maybe there wouldn't have been so much, like, backtracking during the whole process of just having to rip up stuff that shouldn't have had to have been ripped up, but that wasn't his fault is what I'm trying to get at here. So, honey, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. And I love you. Alright. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.